come back with another one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more. Just here posting a couple clip -its from Alicia Keys' halftime performance at the Super Bowl. What if the Velcro is loud and the sound guy has to mute the mic so that it doesn't... Hear the Velcro. Thing. And then he has to not forget to unmute. It mess up my voice, will it make me kind of waver? Will my, you know, so much comes from the core and your stomach when you're singing. It's like, is that throwing off the, that? Is it, is the balance? Am I gonna trip? Am I gonna look? Am I gonna pull back? It's like, what? In the moment when you're actually there, trying your best to just get this right, because <laughs> you only got one shot. It started when we were younger, you were mine. Before I became Alicia Keys, I was just Alicia. I added Keys because to me, Keys provides a framework to the artistry. It's the roadmap to unlocking something within yourself. But most importantly, Keys open doors. We have someone hold in when we walk out with me. Jam, jam, after, if Jamie can do that, that'd be great. Yeah. Where's Jamie? Hey, Jamie. I'm right here. Bye. Let's try. What just it's happened? Just Talk. Beginning. It's just the beginning, but this is the beginning of how the whole thing comes together. We're going to win. I got to say, since the trophy, we winning every, every team now. <laughs> Yeah, we win. We're gonna win. You know, I'm, I, as you know, I'm a very half glass full person. I can think about things in their best perspective. So I try not to get too hung up on concerns because I know that that's a process of life and a process of art is that you're working through it. You're figuring out what works, what doesn't work, you're making adjustments. So I don't get too hung up on what is, are the problems because I know there's always a solution. But am, do I have concerns? Definitely have concerns for sure. But that's the one like that in general. Well, but of course, you have to see because with all of this and then the hair and the back and the blow and the. So we should probably see. I want to think about that. Yeah. So we should see. She should see that reference. Okay. And then also think of things that would be in a way. What else could be more for my neck? This look where it's like mile long fabric and it's like incredibly dramatic is something I've wanted to do for a long time and we've never gotten the opportunity to do it. So to be able to do it this time is really like a thrill. It's really incredible and I think visually it's gonna be so stunning. You have bodies and bodies of puppeteers that are like extending the fabric and fans that are blowing. Foot is on the pedal of the piano. I'm playing the piano. The things are blowing, the people are pulling, the thing is waving. And so how much can I take how much can my body take of being unbalanced and still singing and still sounding great and feeling great and looking great and not just like tumble backwards so that's definitely main concern number one. Second concern is the part of the look that Dolce is making is there's a beautiful cape and the cape has a high neck and it's very regal and it's over the shoulders and it's gorgeous and special and now we're just experimenting to how to release it quickly, and do I still have a belt? We are nine days away. The person has flown back to Milan with the look. Then they're gonna fly back. You're gonna do a fitting, like which will be kind of like your final, your second to last fitting. And we'll try that on. We'll so that's on, the, so that's, that's on the seventh. So that's four days before the show, we'll do like the final fitting. This is the first time we'll see it again. Yes. From here. Yes. We're gonna try all the crazy things, the flying things. That, do, we need, do we need magnets? Do we need hooks? Do we need snaps? Do we need Velcros? Do we need like, what can we do that can make this faster, easier, better, smoother? Oh like, my what? God. Stop. Why are you stressing me out? <laughs> it was so strong. I'm like, no, it can't happen. No, ultimately at the end of the day, like it's gonna be down to the wire. We will be down to the wire. It's gonna be the day of, and that's when I feel like, that's when you're gonna say, this is what it means to be, because you're gonna have so many times to test it. And then it's going to be down to the wire. So I feel like it's going to be a final decision. It's going to be serious. I... I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> but 
Papa Gaga got us. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no, it's live. Right, and then it's just joking. Live. Right, it's just joking. Part. That's the that's the craziest part. Well, it's live. There's we've been talking about what if the Velcro is loud and the sound guy has to mute the mic so that it doesn't hear the Velcro. Coming. And then he has to not forget to unmute. Okay, that's a lot of moving parts. Can you stop being the director and producer and just because now you're it's thinking about all the other things? It's okay, but, it's okay, it's okay. But yeah, not serious. Okay, we will. Moment. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna make its way back. And even if I'm not like running across the stage and doing thousands of dances, you still, your, 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 your energy lifts up in a way. And sometimes you find that your voice can't keep up with it or it starts to get shaky because you're like feeling excited and stuff. And so she has me jumping around, skipping around. She has me doing like extra crazy arm motions just to exaggerate the way that you would feel the adrenaline and the way that your energy kind of goes up and the way that you start to do things you didn't even know you were gonna do because when you're just chilling in your room, it's one feeling and when you're out there for 80,000 people, it's another feeling. So it's, it's kind of, I look ridiculous. <laughs> I kind of sound ridiculous too, but it's really training me to figure out how to control the breath, control the note, control the tone, keep my voice calm, even when everything else is like chaotic or full of energy or whatever. So, I want to see, oh baby. Not y'all, but I know about us. And uh, this the only way we know how to rock. It started when we were younger, you were mine. My now another brother's taking over, but it's still in your eyes. That's my baby. Always be my oh, my oh, oh, my oh, my my oh, my oh, oh, my oh, my boo. So definitely just wanted to experience some of the Vegas nightlife. Had to go see my guys, you two, playing at the Sphere. Oh my gosh, it was crazy. Had some dinner with friends and just really reveling in the good energy. And then we went to one of my favorite places, Meow Wolf, and just explored. I mean, this was the night before the big day. And it was nice to just kind of let go and feel good with the family. I was in love with you when we were younger, you were mine. <laughs> now I see it from time to time, I still feel like you can see it no matter my boo. I really love you. There's nothing stopping me from being the brightest, highest, most powerful frequency I can possibly be today. I will not hold back. Genesis, you know that he is really pushy. Like when he wants something, he really wants it. He he wanted he this he figured out that I was owed two YouTube plaques for all these different like numbers that I made, and I didn't even know I was. I didn't think of that. He called Anne every day and said I need those YouTube plaques until she finally got it, and said. This guy's gonna make a great boss one day because he called me relentlessly until I could make it happen. So then he somehow asked me if I have Billie Eilish's number. So I'm like, well, yeah, she's a friend to me. And so he says, I wanna talk to her. I said, well, I mean, well, let me text her and like see how she's doing. He bothers me for three days in a row. Can I please send a video? Can I please send a video? I said, okay. So here he goes sending his video. Hi. 
My name is Genesis, and I hope we can be friends. And I really like your music, and you know, Alicia Keys' son. So, yeah. Bye. I'm Alicia Keys' son. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is this is what he said. So then. He asked me over and over, did she write back, did she write back? And I said, no, listen, Jen, it takes a minute. And she actually doesn't like write back super fast. She like, it takes time, we connect, it's all good. So I wrote him, her, someone wanted me to send you this message. I hope it makes you smile. How are you, beautiful, big love. So then he's asking me every day, did she write back? He won't go to sleep, he keeps me up at night. He wakes me up first thing in the morning, did she write back? I mean, over and over. He takes my phone and writes her hi. And I'm like, Jen, don't write on my phone <laughs> without me approving it, please. Like, just don't bother the girl. She'll write back if she can write back. So I'm just, like, chilling, getting ready for the Super Bowl right now. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I look at my phone. Ah! <laughs> and she goes, made my day. Look. Genesis. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm ready. To, I'm ready to Genesis. be. I'm ready to be your friend Genesis. any day. You tell me when. I'm My name's Phineas. And Phineas. I'd like to be your friend. I'm Billy Eilish's brother. So. I would like to be your friend. Alicia is my friend. I love her, and I love you. And let's hang out and be friends.